Welcome back, everybody, for some more Theodoric the Great. Uh, last time we did the whole Dalmatia thing. Now we're going to go to the next year to the Battle of Verona. This one is only considered a one-sword difficulty, whereas the rest have been two swords, which I think have been pretty accurate. But uh, yeah, true goth and true Roman. When I was a boy hostage in Constantinople, I always dreamed of that I would be accepted as a Roman. I learned to speak the Roman languages like a native. I read their histories. I studied theology with the best clerics in the capital. It was not to be. The Romans never let me forget my origins. Barbarian dog, they said. German swine. Even as a consul for Emperor Zeno, the sneers continued. As my army descended upon Italy, it was easy for me to remember their mockery. More than one barbarian king had returned the Romans' hatred with hatred of his own. Odoacer was no exception. The towns of Italy chafed under his cruel rule. Villages were raised, gold, animals, and women were carried off for the king's, uh, for the pleasure of the king's court. At first I took pleasure in the Romans' suffering. Finally, these arrogant people were receiving a long overdue comeuppance for their arrogance. But as we marched, I came to understand what the Romans themselves had forgotten. Civilization does not come from possessing a distinguished name, or living in great cities, or wearing splendid jewels and purple garments. It is humanity, justice, law, and culture that separates civilization from barbarism. And a king who rules by terror alone is no king at all. And so, as my army approached the cities of Verona and Mediolodinum, uh, I reached a decision. I could never forget the mockery of the Romans, but I could choose to forgive it. I would not arrive in Italy as her conqueror. I would arrive as her liberator. Wow, how progressive. Hey, sir. Yeah. Italy at last, a rich country ripe for the taking. There is Odwasser's army men. Cut them down. Well, there's our army spawning off the edge of the map. No, yeah, well, Odwasser's army. That's uh, pretty straightforward. Do I? Yeah. Cat scientist. I literally have 61 units. One more than a control group. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we'll be losing plenty soon enough. I'll uh, check out the objectives and stuff once I, uh, you know, there's this little intro battle that I'm sure we're supposed to win. At least I hope so. First Strabo, then Zeno, and now Odoacer. I'm getting very tired of my enemies escaping the battlefield with their heads intact. The victory is still a victory. Let's move. Oh, well, that was it for them. Two city cities stand before us, the great fortress of Verona and the old imperial capital of Mediolodinum. I could obliterate both to show Italy my power, but a true king is, is something who can uh, rule by mercy and justice and, and whatnot. Doki doki artichoke. Let's go rule by mercy and stuff. Okay, capture the monuments in the cities of Verona and Mediolanum so that the cities join your cause. Or defeat Odoacer. Uh, do not destroy any town centers or monasteries in Verona or Mediolanum. And then upgrade the Odoric by using him in battle. Okay, so it's kind of like Saladin, uh, you know, with Jerusalem and all that. Uh, 210, we can hit, uh, reach Imperial Age. Even the odds against you by con concentrating on one of your enemies earlier. Odoacer is your strongest enemy and knows how to fight the Gothic hordes, but Verona and Mediolodinum are strong fortresses defended by many castles. Roman citizens still see Theodoric as a barbarian and a uh, rapacious conqueror. You will need to be merciful to win their confidence. Monitor your men carefully to make sure you don't ransack any churches or town centers, otherwise Verona and Mediolodinum will never join your cause. Uh, the people of Italy have grown accustomed to fighting Goths since the days of Alaric, and will field strong armies that counter your own. You will need speed and cunning to overcome them. Alright, we've reached the old Western Roman Empire, uh, Northern Italy. Already took those guys down. Uh, three powerful enemy factions, Mediolodinum and Verona, are two ancient stout fortresses that have fended off lots of invasions. Um... Before that happens, you need to defeat their armies. Muddy Lottom trains champions. Have you got Rossmo and Archers? Okay, okay. Your most dangerous enemy is Odwasser, the Barbarian King of Italy. And, um. 
don't know where he is, though. Okay, well, there is Mediolanum, who are Italians, and Verona are Franks. Of course, I can't build a town center over here. That would make my life too easy. Got it. Alrighty. So let's get to it. Let's just take a Huskarl and start scouting. Oh, let's also make some uh, villagers. Wild idea. Seems like a pretty straightforward scenario. Gotta love the consistence, cons consistency with Verona being yellow from uh, Barbarossa and Franks. And then Mediolanum being, uh, or Milan, being green and Italians. Kind of a mix of uh, Attila and Barbarossa. Oh, this looks like a good place over here. Theodoric, there you are. What brings you to my cozy little kingdom? Oh, you've come to seize my lands on behalf of that wretched emperor. I'm sorry, but I just cannot oblige you. I'd hate to disappoint you after marching all this way. Well, you know, yeah, that's just, uh, that's just life sometimes. Yeah, you learn to live and love and forgive and all that good stuff. Let's actually make villagers or lands. Also, we, we my, that I mean me, I, have decided that uh, for once in my life I'd be smart and record this a little bit earlier, as in it's like 10.39 right now in the evening. So I'm not recording it at like midnight and then I'm falling asleep and before it's uploaded. I may look like a humble merchant, but I'm actually the world's greatest siege engineer. Or, well, I am when I have my blueprints with me, but I can't seem to have misplaced them. Oh, uh, what a goofball. Uh, if you could return my carts to me, you won't regret. It. Missing, uh, an it. You know, the Ostrogoths aren't so bad when they're not killaging and killing and pillaging and plundering. I wouldn't mind change from that ghastly Odwasser. Me, I just care about wine, money, and women, and launching... Oh my, is that, is there... Please tell me this is a trebuchet reference. Trebuchet meme. Yep. You know, isn't that what we all want in life? I just care about wine, money, insert whatever gender you want, and launching projectiles more than 300 yards through the air. I mean, that that just sounds like the life. It, it is what we all aspire to. Yo, dog. I need me some TCs. Anyway, uh, we're going to try and go after Mediolanum and Brona because that'll probably be more interesting. Oh, atheism. I was like, what? That's the Age of Conquerors Hun theme. Oh, yeah, but that's what happens when atheism is researched. So our relics are going to be less effective. I didn't see that there was a relic over yonder. Over here. I mean, I'm still going to get it, right? But it's just not going to be as good. So these freaking lamers. Righty. They didn't say that, like, they have adopted or adapted to my tactics or whatever. So we might have to do something other than infantry. Odwasser's army depend on supply caravans to maintain its strength. If we capture those caravans, it will be greatly weakened. Um, alrighty. We'll go check that out. Still go get that relic, because it's free gold. <laughs> And there's another one. Lots of houses. Yeah. 
What's up, bro? Alrighty. Start collecting gold. Quickly booming on up. So it's just uh, monasteries and town centers that we cannot destroy. So we do need to be really careful. Wait, we're goths. That's going to be really hard. Goths aren't a sieve about, uh, you know, precision and finesse. <laughs> But we will make it happen. Alrighty. It's really hard to tell where these farms should be placed. Let's go get that relic for... They took it! Those jerk faces took it! Right, let's get start mining more gold. Mining more gold. Yeah, I guess I should do some more scouting. Really haven't been that concerned. And that should be good for villagers. University. The castle just to defend this camp. Start with the barracks. Is, is, is. Map is decently large. Lots of farms everywhere. Where's that university? Or, oh, we have Siege Engineers again. I will take it. Get back to work, you lazy butts. Just start getting upgrades. Make sure we get ourselves a blacksmith. Got him. And let's start just uh, working our way up towards Medio Laudanum. Wait, we already have 210 pop. So that means we'll get 220 pop in Imperial Age. And we've already arrived at the walls. Oh, that's an army. Go get him, boys. Oh, hey, 
Is there a castle here? Because that would make it look a lot like Milan from uh, Barbarossa 3. Medio Laudanum is Milan, by the way, in case you didn't know. Didn't make that very clear. Arg, my wounds, they be grievous. And stuff. Still haven't done the testing on the Genoese crossbowmen. Or the heavy crossbowmen. The not Genoese crossbowmen. Oh yeah, we can't build trebs. Okay, this makes things a little bit more awkward. That is no matter. We will make do. Be sure to grab siege engineers. Oh hey, an ox cart. I forgot about you. You're like the master siege engineer dude who likes his wine and women and stuff. Alright, let's get rolling. New trebuchet for my new friends. Aw, what a swell dude. So that's how we get traps. Okay, no, just need to be careful. Wait, we just need to capture the monuments, right? Thankfully, Huns versus Goths is a great matchup for Goths. Yeah, this looks like Barbarossa Milan with extra castles. Are you stuck? Join the party. Sure, why not? Right. Eh, let's get another fort castle. Let's be wild. Resources aren't doing all that great. Nor is my population for that matter. God. Stop. Guess I can get a few more bills. Those are Frank Paladins. I bet they have a cathedral over there or something. Just a hunch. 
I wonder what Verona's gonna look like then. Because the Verona from uh, Barbarossa 4 is pretty small. It didn't have any castles. They just uh, had the best army. Because they, uh, they got all the Frank stuff. Like hand cannons and paladins and monks and scorpions and stuff. All right. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. It would make sense that, uh, you know, the Goths would be metalheads. Noise. Ah, uh, a town center is where the cathedral used to be. So yeah, this is, like, the walls are exactly the same. Just some, some of the stuff is reworked. Which is cool. I, I like it. And they added, uh, they, cat scientist, added uh, this whole section here because Milan just kind of like goes off the map. I like it. It's a nice homage, but still different. Anyway. Um, gather that stone. I only ever got one relic, man. That is a super fast trade card. That has to be faster than... Oh my god. You know how I was saying that, uh... Thankfully, Huns versus Goths is a fantastic matchup for Goths? Yeah, uh, literally the opposite for <laughs> Goths versus Franks. Yep, that's Barbarossa for Verona right there with the double gates. Probably straddling the river here. Oh god, we don't want that. Alright. This is gonna be an uphill battle. It's just, uh, it is what it is. But at least we got one of our enemies off our backs. See if maybe I can get like a castle up over here. Go go power huskarls and stuff. Right, bring the treb over. Looks like they have a castle outside the city. I guess this is where Odoaster is. Anyway. Oh, there went those bills. Speaking of which, I could use some this away. Yeah. Oh, is Green actually our friend now? Oh, that poor heavy crossbowman was not at the right place at the right time. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, hell yeah, guys! Oh, give me another treb. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I should focus less on the Huskarls. They're not gonna be doing as much here, considering that only his buildings are dealing pierce damage. If you wanted to look up a, a good army against goth infantry spam, this would be one of them.
A new trebuchet for my new friends. What a swell guy. All right, parents time, baby. Perfect. The thing is, there isn't even anything I can mix in. Like, this is about as good as it gets. And they're even giving me resources! These guys are OP. It's like, okay, let's just give you a, a good AI player, and uh, they'll also give you resources. Oh boy. Send in some reinforcements. Onward and upward. So much for that castle. Ask for extra villagers. Still add more dudes from over here until we can get our uh, buildings up. No, seriously, didn't like didn't I ask for more villagers? Up oh, there's Odawasser. The unfortunate issue right now is that when if it, rather yeah when it comes to a population efficiency battle gods are going to lose almost every single time I'll take it Of course we need to rely on our production That's our strength Never built a market. I'm great at this game. Uh, I could also use some more gold miners. Also, Goths versus Italians is going to be really good for Goths if Italians can't make gunpowder units. So that definitely helped us there. Damn, this is not easy.
Yeah, castle's gonna go down. They have way too many traps. Okay, let's try falling back just a little bit. Is it Hussar time? Oh, those resources feel good, good, good. Casually adds in 10 stables. Feels good, man. Siege workshops. I also need those. I mean, technically speaking, I just need to get past the walls, but I haven't even gotten past the walls yet. Random Falcon Screech. That is a traffic jam if I have ever seen one. Shredding my halves. Holy crap, my pops dropped. so many units. Use them, damn it. Dimitri, what are you doing over here? I appeared in AOE 2 scenario before it has become Dawn of the Dukes. I'm cool. Some day when will we will remake the Battle of the Kulikobo Field in Dimitri Donskoy. Yeah, go you, my man. Princes of Russia campaign. Uh, first cat scientist campaign I played. those guys. We need to replace our, uh, our bills. Man, if there's anything that Cat Scientist campaigns test you on, it's uh, your late game macro and multitasking. I probably have higher APM like right now than I do in like almost all of my regular campaign playthroughs. Not that it's actually fast, but you know, for me, relatively speaking. Onward and upward. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Did I mix in Cavalier? Oh, we'll give it a go. What do we have to lose? Not making much headway here. Clown's doing. Where on earth are you guys going? And another one. Okay, come on, guys. Make it happen. Okay, um... To the front lines, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. Okay, now I need freaking more lumberjacks. I never built a mining camp over here, did I? Nope. I'm doing some thinking here. What the hell? This dude has a fortified camp. I was thinking of maybe like raiding him, but no, that ain't gonna happen. At least not effectively. Yeah, 
man, like 126 fills is really all I can afford. I need the rest of my pop. What about those supply convoy things? That sounds like something I can be uh, more proactive about. Uh, go, please. Or maybe I'm just making headway now. Was it just that, like, fresh, fresh batch of resources? Not sure. Concave beats the convex. Just like how Zap ran again defeated the horde of rampaging killbots, man. Okay, now that I've gotten past some of their back line, I think we're in a much better spot. I think I just lied to you guys. I think we're in a crappy spot. Oh my god. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. I forgot. Let's see where the last quick save is. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Don't do the thing. guys are probably watching me, you know, destroy that monastery and be like, or no! You fool! But I did not listen through space and time. Damn, this uh, goes a long way down there. Um, hmm. This actually a lousy way to attack. Okay, let's see if there's another uh, crossing, because I, I don't want to have to just jam my army across that bridge. Okay, 
Where are our lumber camps at? No crossing that way. No crossing anywhere. Oh, hey, it's a cart. Where are those freaking supply carts, man? Okay. We're gonna do some, we're gonna do some scouting. Because Odwasser, obviously, he is a big threat. Oh, what is this? Anything cool over here? Make a beeline for it. Run for it! Don't attack the monastery! Distract them! Wait, is there no one here? <gasps> we got it! That's all we had to do, we just had to run past him! <laughs> Oh, yeah, the people of Rona have thrown down their weapons and now swear loyalty to the Ostrogoths. They will fight on our behalf now. We did it, Reddit. The cities of Italy now swear fealty to us. The Ostrogoths are the true heirs of Rome, and I am the heir of the emperors and stuff. Alrighty. I'll have to go back to read the uh, outro dialogue since this was a uh, load. <laughs> Look at that, KD. Oh my god. Yeah, Verona was definitely the scariest of the enemies. Like, by far. I mean, Frank's just annihilate gods. <laughs> and, like, they had a good army comp, too. Oh, damn, Verona was getting resources for days. I guess they were getting them from those supply carts. Yeah, they also got all those relics. It's annoying. I don't know where the rest of those were. I thought those were just like trade cards. I do not know. I like how uh, Cat Scientist finished out the rest of Verona. Looks very nice. Here's Odwasser's camp. Not too sure what those guys were all about. But yeah, definitely let me know what I missed, because I definitely missed some stuff somewhere. Whew. All right, campaigns. Yeah, that was like one of the hardest ones so far. Odwasser's invincible army was smashed to pieces at, in the plains outside of Verona. As the king's last battered remnants slunk away, silence hung over the city, a silence that shortly after was broken by the ringing of bells. I still remember the cries of the people as they opened the city gates. Theodoric, Theodoric, the savior of Italy. For the first time in my life, I saw a Roman meet Ostrogoth without sword or insult. Roman and Ostrogothic children darted through the streets and alleys of Verona, playing their childish games. Churchmen who once labeled all the Goths as the scourge of God now held masses of thanksgiving for our arrival. It was that day in Verona that was, uh, Ostrogoth, a kingdom was born, not a kingdom of oppression, but one of unity, with Goth and Roman side by side. Sadly, it was not a kingdom every Goth was eager to see. Dun-dun-dun. 
Anyway, guys, this is, or that was the true goth and true Roman, 489, and next we're going to be going later that year. Um, Ruins of History. Oh, boy. Three swords. That was one sword, guys. See you next time for the, uh, the, the big one.